I'm so proud of that name, the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. I'm proud of it because not only has Congress um, declared us, you know, the cultural ambassadors for our country, which we declared ourselves a long time ago since we're celebrating our 50th anniversary, but because we do represent America. We represent this melting pot. We represent the place where everyone wants to come. We represent the African-Americanism of America. We represent all of its generosity, all of its virtuosity, its intelligence, and its beauty. We represent the vision that Alvin had that our dance, our culture, should be one that is open-hearted and open-handed, and that should be true, and that should acknowledge its past and its present, which gives us great faith in entering the future. Um, we just came from a tour, a world tour. Uh, we were in Istanbul, we were in Israel, we were in the Canary Islands, we were in Bucharest, we were in Italy, we were everywhere. And we were so proud of the fact that a ballet the man created in 1960 called Revelations, probably a modern dance that's been done more than any other modern dance, has the same resonance with every human being that's ever seen it, and that it is dance from the heart, and that it's dance from the soul, and dance from the spirit, and dance reflective of the human condition. And that's what this company has tried to be for 50 years, and with that American in front of it, that makes us truly proud to represent our country and to celebrate who we are. I think it's a modern dance repertory is important because it gives the dancer the opportunity to understand uh, what it is to work intimately with completely different mindsets, completely different ways of uh, using the body, completely different sounds of, of, of music, completely different palettes of color. Uh, from lighting designers, costume designers. It gives them a cornucopia of uh, flavors and tastes, and it's like a full meal that they get from being able to uh, engage, and I use that word intimately all the time, with someone who's sharing you their innermost thoughts, you know, and taking that chance with you and trusting you to uh, convey their heart. And with a repertory company, you get a chance to do that with as many people as I can hire, <laughs> as many people as I can commission to work with you, who I think will stretch you and will give you an opportunity to explore not just self, but to explore the universe, to explore what it is to embody the universe uh, within this instrument we call the body. That's what's so wonderful about being a dancer. I keep telling them that the infinity is in you and that when your arms go out and you stretch your, your legs wherever, your arms wherever, it doesn't stop at the tip of your fingers, that it continues, the energy continues. That's what makes a dancer, that one that understands that what they're doing is much bigger than what they could possibly be thinking they're doing. It's much more than that. It's much more than training. It's much more than technique. It's much more than, oh, I don't feel too good today. I'm gonna get out there and really, I'm gonna, you know, it's, it's bigger than that. And Mr. Ailey taught us that with repertory in modern dance because ballet companies had only, or were the only companies with repertory. But with modern dance, you get this individuality that is unique, if I can be redundant, <laughs> just totally unique to be able to work with, with uh, uh, Mauro Bigonzetti, who's from Reggio Emilia, who worked with Alvin when he was 19 years old. And Alvin changed his mind about 
what movement could be, that it didn't have to be a certain way, that it could be your way, and that you could communicate this with other people and have an audience be engaged with what you have to say. Well, isn't that marvelous for a dancer and for the audience to be able to to be able to go on that kind of a journey. Yes, some of Alvin's ballets were based on his blood memories, those ballets being specifically Revelations and Blue Sweet and Cry. And, but if you get into Archipelago or if you get into uh, 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 Streams, uh, these, uh, you know, with, with music by Kabalek and you get into some Stravinsky and then all of a sudden where's my blood memory coming from? So when we talk about the blood memory ballets, we're talking about those, those, those pieces that are remnants and they resonate Alvin's upbringing uh, of, of being a child from, from the South from a little tiny town in Texas, in Rogers, Texas, which actually has a street named after him. And those blood memories were evoked um, out of sheer necessity because of what he had to say about our culture. And that changed the way people looked at, at modern dance because no one had seen a brother John Sellers standing on stage singing the blues and having dancers dance to that music, which is terribly American. That is our American music. And also Revelations, Negro Spirituals. It's American classic music, just like jazz. American classic music. And so that is what helped change the perception of what dance could be when one expresses one's culture as an African American. One can say something about what it is to be in the black church, what it is to go to a baptism, you know, what it is to be filled with the Holy Spirit, what it is to have your soul rocked in the bosom of Abraham, and understand what it is in Istanbul. You know, that's how he changed. He changed our, our way of coming into a theater and going like, I'm going to a modern dance concert. I'd much rather be at a hockey game, I'd much rather be at the baseball, I'd much rather be at the opera, or I'd much rather be you know, at home looking at television, a rock show, something. But then all of a sudden, <clears throat> you get generations of people who have come and are still bringing their children to come and see the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater in its many forms, because the only thing that is required is that you come to the theater. If you have to drag somebody to the theater, bring them with you, especially if they're a child. You always included children. But bringing them into the theater and having them not sit there and fold their arms and go, oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna see. No, you don't know what you're gonna see because you haven't experienced the Ailey idea of dance being a condition of being human. That's what he was trying to say. We're just reflecting you, that's all, and trying to turn on a light in you. That's how he changed dance. That's, that's that swath that he put across the entire world on, on not expecting something that you think you're going to see. But to come with an open heart and with open hands, open mind, and, and be ready to be changed. The heart and soul of Revelations is about us being human. You know, it's, it's because we've all experienced everything that uh, one goes through in a Pilgrims of Sorrow. I've been buked and I've been scored. Didn't my Lord deliver Daniel? Fix me, Jesus, fix me. That all that's about support, about um, vulnerability, about a helplessness, about strength, about failure, about um, sadness, you know, 
uh, about a searching. That's the whole first section, right? Second section, take me to the water. It's about baptism and new life. <laughs> about being ready for new life. I want to be ready to put on my long white robe. And then desperation, sinner man. Where am I going to run? I, I, I've done everything. I've, I've, I haven't done it right. But there's nowhere to hide. So where am I going to run? And then move, members move. You may run on for a long time, but God's going to get you eventually. But in the meantime, if you have great faith and you understand the joy of living the righteous life, you might even get rocked in the bosom of Abraham. And that is triumph. And that is love, and that is caring and support. So, I mean, who cannot understand that journey, you know? And Mr. Eddy was always trying to say that journey through every work that he did, and through every work that he brought into the repertory from his peers and from the choreographers that you never heard of, that maybe you might hear of later, because they've had the opportunity to be on that the venue that Mr. Ailey provided. But it's all in, Revelations is revelatory because it has to deal with that openness and that generosity of spirit that says all are welcome because we're all thinking the same thing. We all want love. We all want support. We all want companionship. We all want to go through this life thinking that there is something bright in us.